up here on Bee Canyon Truck Trail in the city of Hemet, heading up the mountain. We're gonna go check out just the scenic route up here. It's a little bit tight, but you know what? The truck is handling it really, really well. I wanted to test the Cooper STT Pros off-road for the first time, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna head up here, we're gonna test out these tires. Jason just picked up some Kumo, uh, I forget the, the actual name of the tire, but I believe it's Kumo off-road mud tires. Ooh, look at this right here, Jeep Nation, what's up? And a Bronco, brand new Bronco, check it out, nice ride. It's beautiful. Little Badlands action heading up the mountain. It's crazy, even on a pretty simple trail like this, you actually do have to pick your line sometimes. When it rains, it kind of ruts out a little bit, so definitely you have to pick your line. We'll see if we can get some line action, and I'll try and see if I can get the truck in a little bit of ruts, and you guys can see how the tires perform. As we were coming through this mountain here, there's these cool little turnout spots right here. People bring out their guns and actually doing some target practice back here. It's actually really neat. Up into the hill back there, they got their targets and everything set up, so they got plenty of room to fire their guns into the hillside. Pretty cool little spot to come out here and uh, target practice. Thicken his line. You got clearance in the back. I'm just set up for a shot. <laughs> Yeah, you're definitely good. Yeah, come straight. Go driver. <laughs> Maybe come up with your driver on this side. He needs to come up right like here with his wheels. You were off, two wheels, two wheels were off. Yeah, if I had lockers like you. The camera doesn't really pick it up, right? But look at it, it's pretty steep. I'll walk you. <laughs> <laughs> Where, what line did I take? Where did, actually, my tires went right here, huh? Right here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you were spinning right there. And in the back, like you came off completely in the back. All right, I'm gonna turn around. So Andy's kind of, not necessarily stuck, but he's kind of in a precarious situation and where this is a big rut right here. We need to guide him accordingly. Otherwise, he actually might hit his uh, rock sliders or the, the step sides. Aria, baby, stay right here, okay? Cause daddy's gonna come down. Daddy's trying to turn all the way around, baby. Okay, 
Okay, here comes Daddy. He's gonna come back down. You're gonna go down a rock. <laughs> oh, look at that! The wheels. <laughs> oh, you're not even on the wheel. Your back wheel. <laughs> Passenger. Okay, come here closer to me, baby. Stay passenger. Ooh. Yeah. Turn straight. Ooh. And just go straight down. Okay, come here, babe. Woohoo! That's awesome. There you go. So we're back at the house and I wanted to show you guys this real quick. You know, when we were off-roading on the B Canyon truck trail, we didn't really need this, but I picked up this portable wireless air compressor. I wanted to actually show you guys on that trail, we didn't have to actually air down. Which typically you air down when you are going to be doing some rock crawling or some really rough terrain. That particular trail, it didn't have a whole lot of rough terrain. As you guys saw, there were a couple of times where it did get a little bit steep, but we didn't really have to air down. So I didn't get a chance to show you this while we we're out on the trail, but this portable air compressor is pretty cool. It's 21 volts. You can get some really expensive ones on the market, but this particular one, it actually comes with a battery that plugs right into the actual unit down here. It's kind of like a power drill and battery. And then you also get the auxiliaries in case you do run out of battery power. So I wanted to show you guys real quick how this particular thing works. Cool thing about it is you got your little accessories in here too. So you can fill up multiple things with this one particular unit. You get your little needle in case you want to fill up like a basketball or volleyball. And you also get your other parts where you can fill up like pool toys and you do get a couple more accessories in here too as well like this one uh, you can stick right into the end of the pool toy and it'll fill it up pretty good for this particular application I wanted to show you guys how it works so let's plug this battery right in here and for this demonstration I actually already aired down this front right tire down to 20 which is typically what you air down to when you are off-roading so I wanted to do the front which is the heaviest because the engine is up front and also I wanted to show how quick this particular unit is like I said you can get a bigger unit which you actually have to plug into your battery you get your little clamps that you plug into your battery power and then it's an actual air compressor but this one I think is pretty neat because it is super portable and you can use it for more than one application let's go ahead and turn it on and I want to show you guys how it actually looks I don't know if you guys can see it but it actually has a digital screen on here and it reads what the actual PSI is and then what you want it set to now down here you got your multi-function here you got your little car and your motorcycle click this button and it goes to the bike and then it goes to like the basketball or your little your pool toys. Now it actually has preset PSI's in there, like the basketball is eight. And if you go to the tire, uh, it's preset to 36, but typically I run 38. So this little dial here on the side, if you roll this dial up, it goes up a few PSI's and we'll put it to 38 right there. As you guys can see, it's reading 38. And then all we gotta do is plug this guy into the tire. And before I turn this unit on, I want to pull out my timer because I actually want a time to see what it takes to fill up a 35 by 12 and a half tire to 38 PSI. You know, I've been on the trails with a regular air compressor and it, it takes quite a bit of time. We sat there for like 45 minutes trying to fill it up. So we're going to go ahead and test it. I'm going to pull out my little timer here and we're going to test and see how long it takes for this to fill up this particular tire to 38 PSI. All right, this thing is currently reading 18. And it says in a manual that it's plus or minus to the one PSI. So all you got to do is click this button and it fires up and it starts filling up I'm not gonna make you wait the whole time frame so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna let it fill up here it actually stops when it gets to the correct PSI so I'm gonna let the timer go and then let you guys see what it is when it is done all right so we're reading right at 37 there and it's taking just about 10 minutes to fill it up but let's get ready to stop it here when it gets to 38 all right, and it goes off rate right of 38, and it was just about 10 minutes and 12 seconds to fill up a 35 by 12 and a half inch tire. Let's go check and see what the PSI is reading in the actual truck to see how accurate that particular PSI is. 
Okay, so the tire's actually reading at 43 PSI. All that you would really need is a partner or someone sitting in the truck actually looking at the PSI and letting you know when it actually reads 38 and you will know you are good to go. And with that said, it wouldn't take it as long. I timed it at like 10 minutes. It would take way less time because it was about 35 to 45 seconds per PSI, keeping you just about like 25 minutes or so to air up. But overall, pretty good for the money. I think I spent like $74 on that and you can easily spend $250 to $300 for an actual off-road air compressor. So definitely something that is more cost effective and will still get the job done. So all in all, a pretty good product. I'll go ahead and put a link for this particular Otter air compressor down in the description below. And you guys can actually go ahead and check it out for yourself. I really like the fact that it's digital and you don't have to actually read a needle when you're filling up your tires. So that's one bonus for it. And then how it's super portable and super compact. Check the link out in the description below and pick up your air compressor today. All right, you guys, I want to thank you for tuning in to this episode of Hot Wheels Dad. If you enjoy the off-road content, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel. It really does help me out. It helps me grow and it helps me get out to more and more people. Check out my social pages, Hot Wheels Dad, Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. Always remember, you are the maker of your own story, so don't forget to make it legendary. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.